Okay, in zone 11 of triphasic training, uh, training zones, we have strength and super maximal loading. This one's more strength based days versus a super maximal day. Uh, the only super maximal day in a three day plan is in the, on Monday, which is 110 to 120% of your, your max, and then, which is done eccentric isometrically. And then you can go day two loading, which would be roughly about 85 to 93 percent of your max effort. The bar speed velocities uh, for these guidelines are about 0.45 to 0.375 meters per second. And then day three loading is basically about 80 to 82 um, percent bar speed velocities in that range would be about 0.5 to 0.45 meters per second. Now again on the day loading um, models of day one on a five day plan and a six day plan you can see our days one and two at the super maximal. Again I don't do upper body loading um, for my, most of my team sports only extremely experienced athletes could handle that. Now day three and four I follow a 85 percent to 93 percent load and then uh, with the same bar speed velocities in day five and six uh, on the day five day plan, I'll do 80 to 82 upper and lower together in a five and six day plan. I do the same speed um, bar or bar percent and also the same speed with whether it's a squat um, or a bench. Then on the four day plan in this slide, uh, you can see with the day one loading model, you do uh, 105 to 110 that's when your your peaking is or I'm sorry your super maximal loading in the beginning of the week and then at the end of the week you have the day two which is a the three and four day model at 80 percent with the bar speed velocities of 0.5 to 0.7 uh, 475 now again this is not an in-season loading model I, I would never use this in season unless you only have some experienced athletes such again as throwers maybe some linemen um, but not sure I would do it with linemen either